Alright, hey guys, I'm Simon and welcome back to our architecture tour of Bioshock 2. We are in the second half of Fontaine Futuristics. And my bots are at full health, so let's walk forward. And it's still dark. Hmm. Oh, this stuff, hypnotic polyp. I think there's a quest here at some point. I don't remember how it works though. Anyway, so for some reason the second half of Fontaine Futuristics is uh, some sort of cave. And it's really, really dark. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Oh. Okay, well, locate the breakers and return here to restore power. I mean, I guess it's a... interesting twist on the gameplay, you know, having to run around in the dark a little bit. It's certainly challenging in a way, you know, you can't see a thing. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Let's try for the bon bonus. Never mind. M, um, Let's see, I guess I should buy those when I can. And I uh, don't need any of those things. Okay. What is that? Pacification chamber, that sounds terrible. Oh look, there's a... Health station. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be there's gonna be splices running around here soon enough. Let's see, there's a breaker right there. Before we trip well actually let's pick this up. Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. Okay, so according to Sophia, awareness of the self equates to obsession with it. No, I did, that's not. I don't think that's true. I think she's jumping to conclusions here. I mean, awareness of the self... No, no, it's completely not true, because there are plenty of animals that are not self-aware, who would act selfishly. No, just on instinct, alone. So, uh... I don't really agree with that at all. Dr. Alexander has agreed to accept both measures of the new utopian project. He will become a kind of genetic chimera, host to all the minds of rapture, accessing their talents and memories via the Adam we have gathered. <laughs> and deriving in part from Project WYK, I have developed a new set of behavioral constraints. Dr. Alexander will live to promote the common good. His love and loyalty shall be spread evenly across the entire human race. For me, that is discipline at great personal cost. For him, at last, it will be instinct. Huh, well, we'll see how that turns out. Do 
do do do do. Okay, we've hacked some things. There's these side rooms which we're not gonna go into yet. Holding cells, that's terrible. Although I guess we can safely expect terrible things from Fontaine Futuristics, since it is Fontaine. Anyway, I've wasted enough time hacking things. Let's activate the switches. Is there more light now? There seems to be a little... Or is that just the bots? There's more smoke, it seems. Yeah, there's more smoke. Okay, let's get that switch. And then uh, go back up here. And we get to meet Gil Alexander. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. What the stuff? Collect, I see. Collect. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it. Oh, crap. Alpha series. So, your Alexander turned into that thing. Uh, I don't have any water to stand in. I'm, uh, a bit sad about that. Let's see if I can... Is there water out? No, that's hot now. Well, I guess there's the... health station. Should I hack that health station? Whoa. Don't shoot me. Uh, let's see. Health station... What are those guys? Oh, they're fighting my bombs, I see. can keep doing that. I shall come down here to hack this. Good. Hmm, remote hacking darts. That's interesting. Nope. Let's see, he's got 60% health left. Where's the other guy? I believe my bots are dead by now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I think the other guy is... dead as well, it seems like. I don't see his body, though. Oops. Let's uh, keep running away. Eve. Yeah, I don't see the other guy. Is that water? That is water. Cool. Now hopefully he doesn't chuck grenades down here. Okay. He's chucking grenades, but not down here. Oh, is that the other guy? Or is that him? So he's slowly getting himself killed. Maybe just summon the bots again. Ouch. Grenade to the face. Where's my bot? There we go. Robot. Robot. Okay, robot. 
go out there and kill him. Seriously, the robots in this game are so useless. Look at him. Finally! Alright, how long is it gonna take to kill him? I should just participate in this and finish him off. Oh, look at that. Anyway, never mind, he's almost done. Yep, just like that. Well, listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down. Find those plants he mentioned and lure him back out. Right, so we need to find the plants to lure him out. We can't actually see Alex the Great, can we? He's in the tank, but the tank is kind of murky. Well, anyway, that's so much for Sophia Lamb's utopian experiment. Obviously, it didn't work out. The quest arrow is pointing backwards. Can I just pick up any one of these polyps? Like these things? Well, I guess not. So it has to be the things that he specified. I don't even know what they look like. I picked it up already, that one. Huh, okay. Well, let's uh, follow the quest arrow, I guess. Uh, I've already picked those up. Oh, hi guys. Whoa. <coughs> Throw hypnotic polyps at enemies to enrage them, but I already have enrage. Why would I need that? Hopefully my robot does its job. It sounds like it's doing its job. It's still shooting at each other, and I am... Oh, well, I might as well do that. Ah, hello robot. Let me guess. They are dead? Good. Good job, robot. There's a vent. I'm guessing we're going to rescue some little sisters at some point. There's a camera. Oh, there it is. Let's hack it. Wow, did I miss? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, dead guys. There's a room. There's the quest target there. I think I saw it there. It has been the back of the room there. Ooh, look. Well, that's the end of the Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That madwoman Tannenbaum bit the company hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. Yeah, okay, so the Alpha series worked a little too well. The pair bond kind of drove them insane. Like once the uh, Tenenbaum rescued the little sister. Or... Okay, I'm healing. What else did he say? Like... 
me here again. Well, that's the end of the Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That oh, bad lost the splices. Bit okay. The company hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. 